Hi there. I'm Matt Vanacora with Samson, but I'm also a public school teacher who's focusing on remote instruction these days and meetings over the internet with video. And I'd love to take you through some of the solutions that I use to enhance the audio of both my lessons and my meetings so that I can be understood and a productive meeting partner and so that my lessons are enhanced and really listenable so that my students can understand what's going on and stay engaged. So we're going to take a look at a couple of different situations. Now, if you're using Zoom or Google Meet, uh, Microsoft Teams, Skype, whatever, to stay connected with students and team members, uh, you probably have already noticed that the built-in webcam microphones don't really sound that good. And this can contribute to a very unproductive meeting or lesson. Uh, when you have mi microphones that can't be muted or microphones that don't sound good or are really far away, it makes it hard to hear your participants. It makes it hard for you to be understood. And the productivity and engagement in the meeting just drops to nothing. So I found that using better audio has really enhanced my lessons so that they're getting across and enhanced my meetings so that people are more productive and more apt to stay in the meeting and get some work done. Uh, the built-in webcam the deficiencies it has is, number one, it's probably of a pretty low quality. Number two, it's married to the computer. It's stuck in there, so wherever the computer is pointing, that's what it can hear. It can't hear people next to me or around me very well, um, and it also can't hear me if I'm farther away from it. So if I'm backing up to get myself into a good frame and a good angle, it just doesn't hear me that well. Like, I have to lean up really close. So one of the first options that I can take a look at is the Samson Go mic. Now, the Samson Go mic is a webcam mic that you can attach to the top of your computer. And it's really great. It just clamps on, and you can adjust it and point it so that it's more you know, directly at your source. Now, the Go mic also has a couple of different pickup patterns. So you can adjust the volume right on it. It's got a, a 10 decibel pad if things are a little loud in the room or if you're recording a music lesson or something. And you also can decide to restrict it so that it's only picking up sound from in front of it instead of all around the room. Now, if I were to switch inside my conferencing software, uh, let's just go ahead and open that up. I'll take a jump over here. Most conferencing software right by your mute button or uh, audio button allows you to switch to a different audio input. So right now I'm using the built-in microphone here and you can hear with that built-in microphone, um, it gets a little fuzzy, uh, it's a little disjointed, it doesn't really sound too great, not as intelligible as I would like it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the Go mic. Now, when I do that, uh, my speech is a little bit more intelligible. Of course, this is all dependent on your internet connection. That has a lot to do with it as well. But if you've got a solid internet connection or if you're filming these videos and uploading them to Google Drive or somewhere else for remote, you know, later instruction or a remote presentation, um, you've got the ability to switch to that better microphone. So now I'm a little bit more intelligible. And the other thing, the, one of the best features is that I'm not married to how far away that microphone is. I can bring it up close and talk and really get the full richness of my voice and be understood. I can place it, it's freestanding, um, anywhere on the table. So if I'm conferencing with multiple people and the other person starts to talk, the microphone doesn't all of a sudden just not pick them up. And, and nothing says, you know, not pro or boring in a meeting when all of a sudden one person's talking, you hear them clearly, and the other person you just can't at all. So I can easily just take that mount, table mount, move it to whoever is talking at the time. So that's a really great choice. It's easy to mount, it's easy to use. Now, if you want to enhance things a little more and you want to have a little more freedom to roam around a bit, um, the flagship G-Track Pro is a great mic. Let's switch to that one now so that we can listen to it a little bit, all right? Now, the G-Track Pro mic is a really great condenser microphone. A condenser microphone is a very detailed microphone. It can pick up the nuances of your voice, the fullness and richness and everything that you want. I've got a couple of different pickup patterns with this microphone too, which make it really handy. So right now I've got it in the cardioid pickup pattern where it's picking up mostly sound in front of it. So I'm standing right here and it's rejecting the sound behind. So if there's, you know, you're doing a remote conference from a less than optimal place, you can actually reject a bit of the sound behind it while picking up really clear, good sound in front. Uh, it's got an omnidirectional pattern where if, if I was in a meeting or something where I had several people, I could plop this in the middle of the table, put it on omnidirectional, and it's going to pick up 
good detailed sound from all around. So it's great for a conference like that as well. Of course, when you're using any of these more sensitive microphones, uh, you might consider wearing headphones. You know, Samson has a full line of headphones that you can use to restrict the sound from feeding back into the microphone. That really helps in these conference situations as well. You can also use a headphone amp, which Samson makes as well. Um, so if I have more than one person talking and I want to plug in lots of sets of headphones, I don't need to have everybody with their own mic. I can plop a really sensitive and good sounding condenser mic right in the middle. Everyone uses headphones and we all hear what's going on. The other really neat feature of this, I've got a figure eight pickup pattern where it rejects sounds from the sides, but it picks up the sound from front and back. Perfect for two people sitting across a table from each other. So if you have just two people in your lesson or um, two sound sources where you're recording yourself talking and something else on the other side, uh, it's great to put it in that mode. You'll pick up yourself clearly and the other object just as clearly, but still that extra extraneous stuff on the sides will get filtered out and brought down a little bit. Uh, the G-Track Pro also has a secondary input. So if you're a music teacher uh, or a musician and you're going to live stream, you can actually sing or speak into the microphone part and plug your instrument into the second. They have separate gain controls. So I can adjust the volume of my guitar, um, plug it into the second input and teach a lesson this way. Uh, so all of this is, you know, talking about like synchronous learning and synchronous presentations. I'm doing the presentation, the other person's watching, we're doing it together. Um, the final thing, about this mic is it's got a hardware mute button, which I really like. Now, a lot of the video conferencing software has a mute button, but you have to often monkey around with the mouse to find it. You know, most of the user interface disappears after a while. They're doing that for our convenience. But I have found it to be far less than convenient, and sometimes I forget whether I'm muted or not muted. And that's really important. If you're in a conference or a lesson, you've got 20 students, um, or you've got 20 meeting participants, they need to mute when they're not talking, because otherwise it's just chaos. It's a zoo, as I'm sure many of us are discovering. So the hardware mute button is great because I can just tap it and get a nice instant hardware mute where um, instead of having to futz around with uh, the user interface screen and try to find the mute button or the mouse, I just tap the mute button. And I've got a visual feedback as well. So I can see a nice yellow light when it's muted and then a green light when it's back on again. So that makes it really handy. Um, again, it's kind of a, it really is a great plug and play mic. There's no drivers or software you need for these. You plug them right in and they will work with any of the major, um, you know, conferencing apps like Zoom, uh, Google Meet, Teams, Skype. And if you are pre-recording your presentation or pre-recording your lesson using OBS or ScreenFlow, uh, making screencasts, this is fantastic. You'll move it right up to your mouth, you get it nice and close, and your lessons will sound radio ready, you know, super quality, high produced. Uh, it just makes it more engaging for everybody who's listening and watching. So those are some great options to enhance your audio. And audio should be on the front of your mind now because we, um, when you're using this remote conferencing and remote lesson work, um, it's really important that you are understood and understood clearly if you want your engagement and productivity to jump up. So a lot of different great solutions from Samson.